Hello guys, and today we're gonna react to the SpaceX Starship launch, you know, I, as a Russian, kind of watched a lot of launches, especially before, so, and after it launches, hopefully, just four minutes left, I will tell you why the uh, SpaceX, Elon Musk's company, reminds me of the Soviet space program after the launch, but in the beginning, I already tell you, they, the rocket has a lot of engines like the Soviet N1 rocket which tried to go to the moon, you know, but another thing I'll tell you later, let's first react to this launch, historic launch, wow, this rocket is so huge, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, how many engines it has, 23, Twenty plus thirteen. Wow, thirty-three inches. The Soviet N one rocket, I think, also had thirty-three inches. Maybe I'm wrong, but something like that. Maybe, maybe SpaceX took the idea from the N one Soviet moon rocket, which, okay, I'll be honest, weren't very successful in the end. But you know, Elon Musk used a lot of engines in rockets, even the, like, not so powerful rockets. One minute. Wow, I'm pumped. I'm watching it live from Thailand, guys, from Thailand. 40 seconds. They are, what, they are happy or not happy? Everything is good? Now it's really long, 30 seconds? I watch some historical stuff, guys, I don't understand. Or, like, when it's time to fly, they maybe will cancel it. Americans pretty often cancel flights, you know, due to wet weather and stuff in Russia. In Russia we don't cancel. Ah. Ah, that's what I don't like about this American space program, they often... Yes, I know it's for safety and stuff, but usually when I watch Russian launches, like 90% you sure that there, there will be launch. Yes, there were some failures also, but yes, maybe safety is number one priority, but yeah. But yeah, this is big. And it still reminds me of the Soviet program, because, okay, even if we wait now, I'll tell you because uh, the well it's like everyone is quiet now there I don't understand countdown hold for final launch checkouts ah. push like I watch it from Thailand two hours now wait maybe so Elon Musk reminds me Elon Musk SpaceX reminds me of the Soviet space program because you know Soviets they launched like many rockets even though we don't really know for sure how many rockets but because they didn't tell it to the public only when we, they had a successful launch they would write in the newspaper Pravda which translates as truth you know or show it on TV or the Soviet Union did a great successful launch like to the moon or something but before that, maybe there were some failures, launches. While NASA, for example, they like, you know, they already could fly to the moon on that SLS rocket for a long time ago. But they check everything, you know, they slowly, slowly. Yeah, but also, but Elon Musk, he just launches, launches. If, if it crashes, if it crashes, okay, and then, yeah, but at least he made it, make it public, you know, unlike the Soviet space program. And I wonder where he gets all this money from. Okay, he had PayPal, like uh, electric cars. Oh my god, guys, 25 seconds. 
worth waiting. It was worth waiting. Wait. This huge thing will fly. I don't know. Really, it's happening. F 14 seconds. 13, 12. Ah. 10, 9. 6, 5, 4. Learn Russian. 3, 2. Вау, вау, will it fly? О, oh, it really, it really balls. Бля. Yeah, guys, before I was saying that Soyuz rocket, even though it's a small rocket, launches the most beautifully. Wow, it was waved a little bit even. But now this thing is really powerful stuff. 120 meters tall, they said. Whoa, oh, whoa, wow, what? Oh my god, already 500 kilometers. Yeah, you see America. In America, SpaceX likes the South African, but the American Imperial system is not very good, so they use kilometers instead of these miles and stuff because it's more proper system for space and stuff miles doing and stuff guys i don't know wow so many engines wow they look a bit weird yeah. oh sort of engines crazy it's like like you know some animal flying maybe some tribes you know in some I don't know, forgotten lands on the earth, we'll see it and we'll think it's like some, like uh, gods, uh, objects, you know, like, and we'll start praying or something. Because still there are some, like, untouched tribes in the world. Our next major activity is going to be shut down the first stage. Wow. Now acquiring the vehicle. Maybe his tactic, tactic worked, but we'll see now. Well, I feel like pumped even though it's like not Russian, because Russian space program like unfortunately, you know. Did I launch a recording fucking? Yeah. Crazy guys. Wait, what happened? Ah, it's second stage now. Wait, second stage. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, it's just two stages on this rocket. Wait, what's going on? Ah, it should do the flip like that. Wow, first time I see in my life some stuff like that. Wait, what the flip it did? Why is it? Why it did it? Wait, why is it doing this flip? Ah, now it's falling. Yes, it's falling. It falls. I don't understand. It's so. Sh Wait, first time I see so. Such like lounge. As right now, we are stage ah yes, it's falling down slowly now, as it should do. But why it didn't disconnect immediately? Wait. Ah, they had to yeah, have it already. Oh my god. Wow, and they are happy about it, you know? Because, like, even Elon Musk said that. Even Elon Musk said that like maybe it will be a failure in Twitter, I heard. But they're still happy about it, you see, because he created this system when like there is like a failure, you 
shouldn't be said about it, but like, like testing, it's like testing, you know. But three years ago, or about three years ago, when it was first time launching this this uh, ships, uh, like first upper stage, you know, uh, stuff, this starship, I said that NASA probably will launch uh, the rocket to the moon faster because they already have all the technologies from the space shuttle boosters you know but uh, but here everyone is happy because uh, yeah he says like test gazer data and stuff but still big progress i mean but you know still i don't understand how it rotates like that even so, like maybe it had to rotate one time or two times, but 100 people, he says, if 100 people will fly in this ship, it's crazy. But how powerful is this rocket? Let me check. Uh, wow, 119 meters tall. Wait, what? Will they show how it blows up? No? Guys, wait on the Russian TV news propaganda, like how it didn't, how it failed. <laughs> maybe, but maybe though Russian viewers are not that stupid, though maybe they won't show it because it was like half successful. Because before, when Elon Musk. Uh, tried to land boosters, you know, from his rockets. I saw it many times, some Russian experts were saying that it's impossible, you know, it's waste of money, and uh, even some said, like, maybe if it's even possible, it's still very expensive, so people will prefer Russian rockets. But no, now no one prefers Russian rockets anymore, even though, like, for example, Soyuz is quite reliable, but yeah. 250 tons to low orbit? Wait, the Saturn V American, like most powerful rocket, could launch like more than 100 tons, but not 250. And Soviet rockets, like maybe maximum also 95 tons energy rocket from the Soviet shuttle Buran. Wow, it's crazy, guys, I don't know. But yeah, probably we're gonna wait uh, <laughs> one year more for the next launch, you know. But who knows, like, he launches a lot of rockets anyway, like, I got quite good emotions from it, you know. Guys, sorry, I wasn't really prepared for this, even though I know I'm not a geek, but I know a little bit about rockets, you know, but this Starship, you know, I don't really know that much about it because I thought it's like fantastic, some fantastic stuff that maybe it will never fly, but now maybe it proves me that I'm wrong because I pre predicted that still I think NASA rocket will fly to the moon first, but in case of like, you know, some colonization of the moon and stuff like that, of course this rocket is much better. So we'll see how it will go, yeah, but anyway, yeah, goodbye guys, subscribe to my channel and watch my previous reactions to SpaceX launches, I will leave it in the comments and in the descriptions, yes, goodbye, unfortunately Russian space program probably will not gonna catch up with America, like maybe in the next 20 30 years, we'll see because we spend money on some stupid stuff now in Russia. Even though, like, Soviet space program was even better than American space program in some aspects, you know, in some aspects, American space program was better, in some aspects, the Soviet one, like, uh, first Mir space station, like, you know, around the Earth, for example. Russians, like Soviets, learned how to live for a longer time in space, but Americans landed on the moon six times, I thought, one time, 
you know, before, like when I was a kid, yes, but now we'll see, we'll see, okay, goodbye, subscribe, I did this is power.